from Adebakis and change to the lead. Desani jumps to the inside. Oh, oh. touch! Contact through Stowe. The race leaders take themselves off. And Nisani was almost through. He just interlocked wheels with Igor Yurutshov. I suspect Yurutshov's damaged his suspension. Nisani limps back onto the track. There is Yurutshov. And here comes Mathieu Vaxivier, who can't believe what he sees. Yurutshov definitely is ailing. But he moves across, covers like Dilman part of this as well. As yeah, Yurudshov's race. Fear is run. He rejoins right in the path of Vaxivier, who takes last ditch evasive action. Binder also is able to jink around. Now Nisani would appear to be undamaged just at the moment. Yurudshov. Oh dear me, that car. I think he he wants to keep going, but it looks as if maybe just one of the suspension wishbones could be slightly out of line. And now he does rejoin the track having lost all that ground well that a huge talking point Keith and well, well, well I'm sure see the instant in a moment's time but suddenly the race turns on its head oh, some lurid stuff from Orichev there about three hide behind the sofa moments in the space of about 20 seconds um, but it certainly did look as though Nisani had a good run at him but I'm very interested to see uh, a couple of replays of that one and sure enough once again the stewards are investigating cars four and seven let's take a look at this again so Yurudshov covers the inside line then gives the space to Nassani Nassani jumps alongside now Stowe tightens that's why Nassani relatively speaking slows down and they just maybe didn't quite give each other enough room uh, I'm not sure that Igor Yurudshov was quite aware that Nassani was as far alongside as he was